All right, we're gonna be making the balloon car. Uh, just as a general reminder, my colors might be completely different than the colors that you have, but the pieces should all be the same. So just make a note that the pieces may be a different color. Okay, we have to make an axle that fits into a tight space. And in order to do that, we've got to put some pieces on first. So this is a little weird, but we're gonna take the gray bushing and we're gonna put it onto the axle and then we're going to take the yellow one-third bushing and we're going to put that on uh, just about halfway we're going to make some adjustments in a little bit so we're going to do that and you're going to take one of these uh one by two four six eight ten twelve one by twelve technic bricks and you're going to put it so that the yellow is facing out and you're gonna just put it in the last one. You're gonna see it's gonna kind of stick out this side and it's not secure and it's not supposed to be. It's the start of an axle. It's just gonna go kind of like that. Okay, then we're going to take this piece. It has kind of on both sides and this goes right on this like that. Push it all the way in. Now push this and then kind of pull these in, but not so tight that it doesn't move. This is where it gets a little tricky. You want there to be a little tiny bit of flex. Hear that? So that we're, our wheels are gonna spin. All right, then we're going to put our four by eight. And we're just gonna put our four by eight on so that we've got two and two on either side. And then we're going to put this piece on just like this, okay? Now we're gonna do that same thing where we're gonna take this axle and then first this time we're gonna thread it through. So you might need to push and kind of twist a little bit if it doesn't quite line up. Then take the the uh, the full bushing and put it in, but not all the way. Remember, we're trying to limit friction. And then the one third on this side, just like that. Okay, then we're gonna take our two by eight. And we're just gonna set that right in the middle. And then we're gonna take our two by four. And we're gonna put that right here on the back like this. We have these little sloped handle pieces. If you put them so that the slopes go towards each other, that's what we're looking for. We want those slopes to go towards each other. We're gonna put those in the middle. So kind of like that, see how they slope and sort of make a little bit of a triangle, okay? Okay, we're gonna take our frictionless pins and we're gonna put those in. You'll notice that I already have the rubber tire that's on here. So if you have those rubber tires, you can put those on. Um, or you could do it without the rubber tire, that's fine too. And just make sure that you test it out as soon as you put it in. You spin it a little bit, does it spin? Is it moving, does it work? Uh, if it's stuck, if it's not spinning, then we need to fix that before moving on. And then the last one, just make sure that you get the tires. If your tires are apart like this, you just kind of have to like pinch a little bit, pinch and pull, pinch and prod until you get that tire seated. And then there's two sides. You have a side that's a little bit more concave than the other, and that's the side. This one here is what's gonna go inside. Okay, so put those tires on and then test it out. You should be able to move your finger like this and it should spin freely. See how mine's kind of stopping? So this is where it's gonna get a little tricky because you're gonna wanna try to figure out where that friction is coming from, but it should go, watch how long these spin for. See, that was like a good two seconds after my finger leaves it, but it's still spinning. That way we have minimal friction from the wheels and it will allow our car to go much further than if there's too much friction. The last step in doing this is we're gonna thread the balloon through these pieces here. See how that balloon's going through and then out the back. So 
because it's so long, that straw is so long, if you want, you can go ahead and cut the straw and then our straw can be cut. Now, one more thing to note, as soon as we start testing it, you're gonna notice that the balloon falls underneath the tires and it's probably going to hurt our experiment. So something that you can do is you have these two extra pieces and you can kind of, if you want, can kind of put them together and place them so that they sort of sit out in front of our vehicle. And that way when the balloon deflates, it kind of collapses on top of here and keeps it away from the tires. One option, and I've just found that that kind of keeps it and allows it to go further because it keeps it from having that balloon get sucked under the car and immediately cause too much friction and it stops. So up to you, but you have that option.